Ladies and gentlemen, about we JB, a... take it away. <laughs> cam versus Phenom. Not Lightning Cam, just standard Cam. Yes. Poor he... Lightning Cam. I don't know. I feel like uh, we got to go pull him out of the Shadow Realm after that <laughs> round against Larry, man. That was brutal. I I, I, <laughs> I looked away for a second, Yo, and he was, it like, was done. gone. <laughs> Yo, uh, uh, I just want to say Phenom trying to start things off uh, disrespectfully with that custom uh, down B. But uh, Cam just stood there and said, yeah, you can get uh, thrown off the stage for this. Dude, I don't know. I mean, that, that custom down B does a lot. It, it's got a lot of really good distance. It goes at a good angle. And it's got some pretty solid knockback and damage to it. And oh, so yeah. I can see why you would open up on yeah. that. But at the same time, like, playing the most hardcore rushdown you can against a Sheik doesn't sound like the best option. Ooh, and he tried to go for the side B, but Cam was quick on the grab, got it out before the side B could actually be active. Ooh. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, whoa, yeah, that was rough stuff. Uh, it does the recovery a little bit awkward, doesn't quite snap to the ledge like he was hoping to. And that was super interesting. So Phenom tried to clip uh, Cam with the back air, but Cam had done a down tilt, actually crouched underneath the back air. And now we've got another situation where Cam is off stage. Ooh, the forward air! Yo, but the moving platform's gonna save him. Moving platform's gonna save him. Thanks, Pops. Oh, that... Get it, man. Something tells me that Sheik is going to lose the forward air war here. Oh, that down BC, I told it you. Actually it actually worked out, yeah. It, it's at an awkward angle, and it's something that a lot of players are not used to, given that this is the third rendition of Ganondorf. And so people are used to him going down, just like in dive kick motion instead Yo. of... Wow, that tilt, bait. though. No, it, it was up smash. He does an up smash right, and that's a bait. Uh, because whenever you see it actually come out, there's like very minimal cooldown afterwards. So yeah. he'll do like up smash and then he'll do forward tilt afterwards just to punish them for coming in unsafely. Yeah. It's so good. Well, um, let's see where Cam ends up taking him because that was a pretty solid victory by Phenom. Yeah. And I don't think he's trying to necessarily disrespect on people or anything oh, it's true. like it's that. That's true, it's true. But no. it, 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 then again, Phenom, I mean. It's just like I, I, you can't not associate Ganondorf with like respectful like there's no like you, you invite Ganon over to your house like he's not gonna take his shoes off or anything like that you know what I mean yeah he's, he's gonna he's gonna eat your food and then just just you know pop his dirty feet on the couch it's <laughs> gonna be bad man you can't see anything man he, you, you know type of you can't see anything he's got the triforce of power it's power over wisdom right now yo and he's he has a good tech read there with the after the side B going for that dash attack to get the pop up Yo, that down, that side B was actually really good. A good spot dodge by Cam to get out of the way. Neutral airs to get out of a bad position. Cam is, there we go. Cam has a little momentum on his side. Ooh, good timing on that down air. Most people would have fastballed that. Ooh, gets him with the back part of that up air. Maybe an edge guard opportunity? No, ends up uh, letting him snap back to the edge. Good patience. He knew that the fair was coming. Waits and shield gets the grab afterwards. And that four air was actually... Ooh, dust boot. Ooh, wow. Dust boot. Dust, dust boot and only 26% on Phenom. But continue about that fair. So that four air, uh, Sheik's four air is from the ledge. A lot of times you'll see like intermediate level players will just jump up from the ledge and attack you. And it's really good against players that aren't expecting it or something like that. And even then, against players that are like more experienced with it. Oh, wow. Good angle then they will still get caught by it from time to time. But the problem is, is it's very predictable once you get further into the metagame as it evolves and as you learn things a little bit. And so Phenom was ready for it and just sprung out. Wow, once again, that down beat. Oh, oh the actually hits him with the up smash. That did so much damage. Dude, Ganon hits you two times and you're like, I should I should watch my health a little bit, man. Like my stocks. Dude, Ganondorf, like, like two hits and you're done, man. It's bad, man. It's <laughs> It's like, geez. wow, out and down. Yo, can we see some disrespect? No, he's playing He's playing it safe. I, I can appreciate that, man. Me, I'm a, I'm a pretty spiteful Ganondorf, man. Like, oh, I thought we were, I, I, I was ready for it. I was ready for it. But you'll notice that sometimes whenever he has uh, Cam offstage, he'll just run off and just get the fair. Yes. God, he's just zoning him out with these tilts and up smashes. Oh, Good nice tech. tech. He, like, mashed the button in there. Ooh! Yo! <laughs> he's like, oh! Tries to go for the bouncing fish, ends up getting knocked or er, ends up getting hit by a pretty powerfully charged up smash by Ganondorf. <laughs> Phenom taking that set 2-0 over Cam. Oh, 